Evolutionary, you guys. It really was. Oh my god. You didn't read it? Mm. <laughs> I always... It's a shame. It's a shame. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, to the point you're making about people who are new to it, I feel like the problem with Not even that new to kind it, of... just like random dudes on the street who are like, comedy is a boys club, I've never done it, but I should be able to because this little skirt over here is doing it. Let me go tell her my opinions. That I don't like. Well, not only that, I think that people do uh, share their opinions more than they should, and that's the yeah. that's the social media society that we're in. Yes, show. yes, 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 yes. Um, uh, like New people, people like just feel pass. like they have to have an opinion, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, like, part of me feels like the nature of comedy clubs has a lot to do with... Um, being social, going out, enjoying yourself. So right. sometimes people feel like they're a part of it when they're not quite a part of it yet. Yeah, like yeah. There, I used to go when I lived in New York City. I went to three open mics a week, and it was the same people every time. But the audience and the people who were on stage were always the same people. But there were a few people that never got on stage, but they were always in the audience and they were always there. And they had a lot of opinions. You See, know what I, I don't mean? like that. Like so someone that can be tough. And I'll I get give that. it like someone who's like new and has done it a couple of times and is trying to get plugged in and just excited about doing comedy yeah. and wants to talk about it a bunch. Oh yeah. Let's go get caught. Let's talk about comedy. You're doing it. You are doing it. Yeah. And I know how it is to be that excited. And I know how it is that it's new and it's fun. Absolutely. If you're doing it. But if you're sitting here and just having opinions based on what you've seen, please miss me with those opinions. Mm -hmm. You know, do mm -hmm. a few mics and then we can come back and talk because you're doing it. But don't tell me, you know, like, don't don't come up and try to explain comedy to me because you've seen a lot of it. Yeah. You know? That's that's insulting if we're like really gonna look at it. It's like that's like me not being an actor and going and telling Nicolas Cage some stuff. <laughs> I don't think that you were really paying attention to you know, I don't know the acting exercises, but you should do some. <laughs> That's very Straight like Nicholas Cage is a very interesting choice for that analogy specifically because like nobody can tell Nicholas Cage anything. I'm gonna say like, that he's like, a Coppola. You're not if playing. We're gonna, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If we're gonna like law like count actors the way we do uh, comedians, where it's like how much are you doing? It's like how much have you done? How many hours have you logged? Right. Technically, uh, Nicholas Cage logged a lot of movie hours. Maybe yeah. some direct to video Enough for to sure. Go insane. Well, I'm Enough not. I, I'm not saying a lot of hours in there. Is all I'm saying. That's the first name I thought of. I'm not throwing any kind of shade to Nicholas Cage or anything. No, I'm I, not, I was like you, you wouldn't weren't. tell. You wouldn't tell a pilot how to fly. Like, yeah. hey, let's just go faster. I know you guys can do that. Let's <laughs> just go as fast as we can to Omaha now. Like. You don't know the different, you know, <laughs> things that go on. Like, um, yeah. this dude that came and gave a conference for, like, the leaders at, of student organizations at my school, he was like, yeah, so I fly a lot. He's like, I'm always flying. I see them make coffee all the time. And so before we were getting on, you know, it was uh, before we've flown, I didn't see any of the... Uh, stewardesses around and somebody's like oh, I really could use some coffee he's like me too you know what I've seen him do this a million times I'm gonna go make coffee so he went and made some coffee turned out good good hobby stewardess came over and was like the hell are you doing he's yeah. like oh, I was making some coffee and she's like uh did you know before we fly you gotta make sure that this and this and that and this so you don't blow up the damn plane and this is why this is not this and this is why we don't do this you see it or do it a hundred times but then when you go and start to do it, you realize this is way more involved than I thought from my chair. Mm -hmm. This looked way easier when I was sitting down and buckled up. But now I get over and do this and I realize, oh, wow, this is nothing like I thought. Yeah. Like, that's the difference. Well, that's you know? a good analogy. I like that one. That was mm. nice. Wait. Making coffee. So making coffee too soon can really blow up the plane? Hey, or is that just, I'm believing just the analogy. I'm going with it. No, I'm not. I like it. I like it. I like that, like... Money but I'm thinking, things. like, if they're, like... It's like taking your seatbelt to also blow up the plane. I mean, I don't know how you, I know, you fly. I don't know if they have on stuff on and valves are open and then the 
the spark from this. See, I, I didn't claim to know all about planes and their business. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, listened along. I just like the <laughs> This is a metaphor, you guys. We're comedians. Yeah. We're talking <laughs> about comedy. I, I, We're just trying to <laughs> metaphor it. I'm up. a comedian because I don't understand plane law. the guy. If I who's got how it worked, I'd be flying planes by now. <laughs> I just like the idea that like the cockpit. It's like, all right, uh, okay, so engines on, coffee's off. Uh, <laughs> like wings are That's out. That's the first. All the seat belts are buckled. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's not, like he so gets that, on his phone. He's like, "Listen, uh, I don't know what to tell you. It won't start. Tell them to get their goddamn be- buckles on. <laughs> Put that. Bu- there's a seat that's empty. Buckle do, the buckle. Do I smell coffee back there? We're going back to the gate. Fuck I'm this. Sure, like you can't like have the appliances on. Oh yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I love all of it. I yeah, will believe. Good. I'm an improviser. I'll believe anything you tell me if you tell it to me with enough conviction. You know what I'm saying? Sweet. Yeah, I'm that sure. wasn't really trying to like call you out. I just loved the idea. Like for me, I like I like to find out what rules can be broken. Just mm-hmm. in the, just in a <laughs> sense, you know, where it's like what rules are in place just to keep order among the masses and to yeah. keep people in line. And what rules are in place for like the actual. Danger. Like overall efficiency and like safety of everyone, yeah. you know. I don't know if that makes me feel better to know, though. Sometimes it just puts me in a fit of rage, and that's not good. Well, see, like I, like I said, like sometimes I won't put my phone on airplane mode, and I just see what happens. I All seen right. a dude do that. Yeah. Yeah, he was on the plane, and his mom was like a stewardess, and so he got to fly anywhere, wherever. And he's like, "Yeah, I fly all the time." And he was like, he didn't even have it on airplane mode. He was just out here like texting and stuff. And I was all Girl Scout, like, uh aren't we supposed to turn this off? And he's like, mm, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I didn't do, I like, I wasn't so bold as to just be, like, trying to torrent stuff or, like, watch <laughs> videos. I just didn't put it on airplane mode. And I was just like, well, if we crash this early, maybe I'll survive. You know, we haven't even hit, like, high altitude yet. <laughs> and uh, nothing happened. And I, I don't know. See, like, that's kind of my thing is, like, I always want to know, like, what is... Because some rules do exist some just to keep people from acting like assholes. You know, it's not even like those rules are just there to make people yeah. sit the fuck oh, down. I don't know, I think it's I something to. about, you know, the way the plane works. What's that? You're no secret. Yeah. yeah. I don't wear my seatbelt on a plane, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Unless I get caught by a stewardess who says, ma'am, are you buckled up? Then I'll put it on. Mm-hmm. But if I get on a plane, I will sit there. And not put my seatbelt on. I'll put like my jacket there or whatever. <laughs> you know why? Because I'm bad to the bone. Yeah. And I'm the baddest ass you'll ever meet. <laughs> ever. Tell your friends. <laughs> I never do. Oh ever. Oh my god, that's so funny. And sometimes, have I ever done it where like a stewardess <laughs> is like, hey, buckle up? And I buckle up and then she leaves and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do next time. I just thought it's real easy. Just really easy, to, like slap it and it just uncuffs. Like mm-hmm. I'm too cool for the safe belt. Oh my god! I'm um, And then do you show her your phone? That's like. Not- <laughs> I'm playing Candy Crush right now. <laughs> I'm Pokemon going in the air. What do you want to do? There's so much shit up around here. the plane. You're like, Please sit down. No, dude. There's a Charizard in the front. <laughs> You're not getting that away from me, man. I know you thought you were gonna. I see you, stewardess. <laughs> I googled. Uh, I was gonna Google how to how to tickle someone yesterday, and I got as far as <laughs> I got as far as how to. I'll, I'll swing back around for that. Um, I got as far as how to, and the first thing that popped up was play Pokemon Go. Wow. I guess a bunch of people have, <laughs> don't know how it works. Um, and then... <laughs> you think it'd be like, how to play that damn Pokemon Go yeah. my kid. That's well, how I thought it would be listed. That makes yeah. sense in the idea of, like, the game, you just gotta, like, there's little dumb, subtle things that, yeah. like, help you learn better. I'm sure but, there's, there's a tutorial within the game as well. <laughs> Fuck Pokemon Go. Let's talk about you and tickling. I don't... Because that seems like a red flag search. Tickling's a weird thing. What are you supposed to do? I just feel at some point I'm just scratching somebody's sides. Just like in the jungle book when they're just like... Oh, yeah, yeah, when he's adjusting. holding the pillar up. Yeah, and he just... just he, and it looks like, yeah, he's just giving him a good weird. scratch. It's weird. I'm just imagining you at the computer like, how to tickle. I'm going to get to the bottom of the Have you fun. failed every tickle attempt in <laughs> oh, your life? Is was, that where we're at? I was trying to tickle Eric yesterday, and I was just doing this, and he kept pulling my arms away, and I was just trying to fight him by like, no, I'm going to get to your sides. Oh, we're going to have fun. 
fun. Get to the bottom of some fun right now. We're going to do research fun. But the creepier thing was when I Googled it and the result that came up, it said, like, it said to, like, tie someone down and, like, spread oh. them out and oh. then tickle them. That's a whole oh, fetish. That's, that's, a, a, that's, that's a, a sex thing. Yeah, you yeah. There's this whole do that. tickle torture really? section no. of yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 there's a whole... Tickling yeah. people against their will is the thing. There's also, di- very recently, and we're going to have to wrap up after this, but, like, uh, the, there is a documentary that came out, and, God, I wish I could remember the name of it, maybe even Ticklish. It, was it Tickled? Maybe. It's about these, like, tickle groups or whatever, and then it's a documentary about it, and then apparently it takes a turn in, like, where there's they're run by the mob or something, some crazy <laughs> thing, and it goes, spirals down, and people have seen this documentary and been like, that's the most fucked up thing I've ever heard, and it's true. And I was like, what? What is this about? What is this about? And it's not sex. It's That's just tickling. The most- <laughs> There's yeah, like a vulnerability you know, there. He was a sinister tickler. <laughs> the sinister tickler. Sinister tickler. <laughs> so let me. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> All right, uh, I was like, so we're going to have to wrap it up. So, uh, last question, Wendell. Um, if you had one or whatever you were going to say. No, I was going to keep going down the tickling trail, so let's, uh, <laughs> let's point this at, uh, let's point, let's point questions at me. Um, how good of a tickler are you? I'm an excellent tickler. Yeah? How do you do it? Okay. One? Yeah, you take your hands and you put it on someone's stomach, and then you just knead it in like you're kneading, you know... I feel like laughing just watching yeah. her do it. She's also yeah. doing this to herself, lunch? to everybody. I'm super ticklish. We don't need to do that. Though. Okay. Oh, Are you ticklish? No. no. I think that's why I don't know how to do it to people. You're not ticklish. It, it doesn't tickle me. I would me. never think to try and tickle you, so I feel like you're giving that you're vibe like, off really well. You're like blank face as just now as you said, it doesn't tickle me. like... <laughs> So scary. I'm incredibly ticklish also. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I I don't know if it's just like my bones are literally one tenth of a centimeter below the skin, so you can just feel the ribs. I don't know. It's like I, I'm super ticklish. They used to uh, do that to me in high school. Like I would be concentrating on something and I would sit on like a chair. I don't know why I sat on this different chair than everybody. Because mm-hmm. it was like a little higher chair and I liked it. And so I'd be like writing something and everyone would look around and they'd be like and someone would poke me in the side, and I'd be like, ah! Yeah, super And they'd spastic. all laugh, and I'd be like... <laughs> I was, uh, that, y'all didn't see what I was doing. I was being huffy. I yeah. my glasses up. Real <laughs> huffy. Huffy style. Huffy style. <laughs> I have to get back to my research. Oh my I've been God. reading way longer than everybody. I can't believe this. <laughs> I, did you know I wrote a novel? <laughs> Baby novelist. That's a no, I ain't read I that never. shit. I'm working on my memoir and like calculus. <laughs> this is going Neanderthals. in. Neanderthals. Yeah. This is going in. Going in the memoir. <laughs> That's how I write when I'm back. All heavy. Just hurt your hand. Like the pen is not even touching the paper. But you're <laughs> I'm using the blood. <laughs> using the blood. <laughs> Vanessa Hudges oh said this Oh my god. Um, <laughs> she said this is what happened. So, <laughs> yeah. They're going to try and tickle you, Maggie. Don't let them do it. Don't let it tickle you. Yeah. So, um, is there any like big projects that you have coming up that uh, either y- you enjoy doing? and maybe can't really talk about. I know how those things go. Um, or, like, you know, your next big project that you're working on, other than the Out of Bounds stuff. Because uh, this will come out after Out of Bounds. Yeah, this so. will be probably In case a you month, want to plug something in the, uh, yeah, in the October region or whatever. Anything else you're working on? Or a larger goal, if you have one. Can I see my phone real quick? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that, so get, funny. Get look right. at the, got all yeah. of my stuff on it. Yeah, there you go. That's smart. It's on the life and times. <laughs> That's right, great that you see. have it. We were just talking about scheduling and how tough it can be. December might be really cool. There's great. There's a little something. Uh, oh, yeah. You got I was going to say anything December, after October. Cooking. Something cooking. <laughs> in December. October, I'm going to be at the All Jane Comedy Festival. Oh. And uh, Naka. The National Association of Campus Activities, I think. I'm doing a, con- a couple of conferences, actually. And, uh... <laughs> uh 
Oh, yeah. Betty Fest is on the 14th. Oh, yes. Also, on the 1st, Betty Fest, I'm doing uh, the girls from Dope or the Dope, doing the Dope or the Dope sketches that were female-centered. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Damn Gina is going to be performing.